Southwest Side Alderman introducing an ordinance that would offer a death benefit to spouses of the city's first responders who die by suicide. It is a proposal that already has 100% support among council members and from the mayor. WGN's Dana Revick has more on the story. These heroes, each and every day in doing their job, arrive on the scene of the most tragic events anybody could ever witness, and they're supposed to turn that switch off when they get off work. Well, we know that they can't do that. First responders in Chicago under incredible stress, many who have felt there was no way out. When we think about suicide, you know, the main indicator there is this idea of hopelessness and powerlessness. There have been more than 20 first responders over the past five years. Uh, in the Chicago Police Department, Chicago Fire Department, that would be police officers, firefighters, and paramedics who have died by suicide. Last year, there were more than 600 law enforcement deaths across the country. 25% of them were self-inflicted. Suicide is now the second leading cause of death for this group behind COVID-19. And up until now, the city of Chicago has not provided death benefits to spouses of first responders who die by suicide. 19th Ward Alderman Matt O'Shea met the widows of two of those officers recently. Instead of file a lawsuit, he wanted to help them try to change the system. There's not much we can do about the pain and the suffering um, or the terrible loss to the children and those left behind. Uh, government can step up and provide a modest financial benefit, and that's what this is all about. Under O'Shea's ordinance, which has received unanimous support from all 49 aldermen and is backed by Mayor Lori Lightfoot, the city would pay out one year's salary to spouses and provide between twenty to $40,000 for education, health insurance, and housing if the couple had children. The ordinance would be retroactive to 2018. For families who have lost somebody to the tragedy of suicide, there is so much isolation that is felt and so much um, that comes with that. So for the city to demonstrate compassion and humanity by continuing to support them, um, at least financially, is a really significant space of progress. The ordinance has now been passed on to the Finance Committee and it will soon get a hearing. Alderman O'Shea hopes that it will pass by June 1st. The city also approved funding this year for the Chicago Police Department to hire 11 additional mental health counselors, doubling the number currently on staff. At the Gold Star Families Memorial, Dana Rebick, WGN News. A reminder for anyone in crisis, the current National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is available 24 hours a day to text or call. We have those numbers on your screen. Counseling is free and confidential.